All right, set. What's on the schedule today? We got a max effort lower, dynamic effort upper today. So this is the start of week three of our Bracket Smasher training program, which means that we're going to be running it back on one of the max effort variations that we did back in week one. So in one of the earlier vlogs, we did uh, max effort cambered bar box squats and some cambered bar good mornings. We're going to be doing that again. We're still going to be working up to a three rep max, but the goal is to hit some sort of slight PR. So that could be as small as a five pound PR. And if it's there for the day and things are looking good, maybe that's even like a 10 or, or maybe 15 pound PR. A lot of times when we're pushing these max effort workouts, we don't want to shoot for PRs that are just so astronomically big and like set some giant 50 pound PR. Sometimes that'll happen if it's a exercise that you've only done once or twice, maybe a couple years ago, and you're way stronger coming back to it now. But most of the time, if you're running through some of these variations every couple of weeks, you just want to shoot for about a five to 10 pound PR, rack the bar, strip the weight off, move on to your next exercise and continue on with the workout. So that's what we have for the max effort side of things. And then on the dynamic effort side of things, we have our last week of the just straight bench press and med ball slams that we've been doing. And then we have conditioning at the end, but we're gonna be tweaking things just a little bit on the conditioning. We're not, we're gonna get away from the rowers and the assault bikes a little bit. We're gonna mix in some hand over hand sled drags and some battle rope. So it should be a good time. The AM crew is gonna show up any minute now and we'll catch you guys after the workout. Come on, Dad. Yes, sir. A ton of great reasons why the box squat is a, an amazing exercise for jiu-jitsu and wrestling athletes. The biggest one is that it's a static overcome by dynamic exercise, which basically means, let's go, Joe Bond. Basically, okay. once you sit on the box, you're in a static position, and then you have to be no, dynamic, man. boom, and be explosive off the box, which basically means you have to be strong, powerful, produce a lot of force from a dead stop in jiu-jitsu and in wrestling, there's so many positions where you have to hip escape and boom, be explosive, or you're in a takedown position and you're ready to go, maybe they stop you a little bit and you just need to start running through them. You don't always have the ability to bounce off your hamstrings or bounce off your calves like when you do a free squat. So the box squat is a great static overcome by dynamic exercise. It's also great because it allows you to really sit back and load up your hamstrings, your glutes, and your low back a little bit more, which is all part of your posterior chain. You can't be strong if your posterior chain is weak. And then third, it brings you to a consistent range of motion every single rep. So if you're someone that has mobility restrictions where you can't sit ass to grass on a squat exercise, the box squat is a great tool for you to hit a consistent depth every time and get strong in that range of motion with proper technique. What's up, man? How has box squats affected your performance on the mat? In all honesty, just explosiveness. Like, uh, all around explosiveness, but when I'm like sitting down, I play a lot of guard. Like, I'll go for a lot of like singles and like, just explosive moves, you know, from guard. So yeah, I just feel better like just getting up off the ground faster, so yeah.
a wrap. Finished up with some conditioning on the battle ropes. You'll see that uh, for the first two weeks we did six sets, 30 seconds, 90 seconds rest between each set. And now we're kind of switching. We're switching focuses as far as an energy system perspective goes. We're focusing on that anaerobic, alactic energy system where we're pushing really hard for 15 seconds. We're kind of flirting with that point right before fatigue starts to set in. And then we're taking a shorter rest than we need. So we're only doing 15 seconds of work, 45 seconds of rest. 45 seconds really isn't enough time to fully recover. So you have to step into each next conditioning interval a little bit more fatigue from the last. And this is great for teaching you and teaching your body to push the pace and to work at a high power output and to work at a, at a high work rate, so to speak, while you're in, the, in a fatigue state. So box squats went great. Some of us hit a big PR, Zach hit a big PR today. Um, Joe Bond worked up to some heavy singles, mixed with some broad jumps because he's gonna be competing this weekend, so that was part of his peaking phase. And then uh, we did some speed bench, six sets, five reps, we kept the same weight all three weeks, making sure that we're staying fast on every rep as we're adding a rep every week. And then uh, finishing with conditioning. So all in all, it's a solid training session. It's 5.59 a.m. Time for the AM crew to head out. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys can follow me on Instagram, at Joshua Settledge, and on TikTok, at Joshua Settledge. If you guys are interested in a free four-week training program, click the link below. You guys can get that email to you for free. Peace. <laughs>